I'm Noah from American Trucks, and in front of me I have the Magnaflow Street Series dual exhaust system with polished tips and a same side exit for the 15 and newer 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150, excluding the Raptor, Tremor, and the 19 to 20 Limited. Now, if you're looking for some more noise out of your truck, top tier performance and clean sound is important to you, then this cat back from Magnaflow would be a perfect choice for your EcoBoost. Now this exhaust is gonna be a three out of five on the Wake the Neighbor scale. Factory exhausts are restrictive and they limit airflow out of the motor. Now one of the easiest ways to get a happier motor and happier turbos is to install a free flowing system that doesn't have a million mufflers and resonators. Now this system is straight through and it's only got one muffler so you're definitely going to get a lot more noise out of this now this exhaust exits on the passenger side right behind that rear wheel so you're going to hear a lot more noise in the cab than with a rear exit that would leave the sound behind the truck as you drove away the magnaflow says that with this system you can also expect to feel a jump in horsepower and torque as well so as far as construction goes the system before the muffler is three inch and then after the muffler, it's split into two separate pipes that fall at two and a quarter. Now all that piping is mandrel bent stainless steel piping, which means it's not only free flowing and smooth around the bends, but it will also be super resistant to corrosion and rust. Now the muffler here is a high flow muffler, which means the air can move freely right through that chamber and it's gonna silence some of the noise and take the edge off, even though it's pretty much straight through. Now air can pass through the core and it's actually silenced by the packing around the outside of the canister. Now this muffler is also gonna function as the Y pipe and it's gonna even out and smooth that sound out and equalize everything between the two pipes. And then onto the rear, those tips are polished stainless and three and a half inch in diameter. Everything Magnaflow is 100% manufactured in the United States and everything is designed to bolt up with no modification or welding at all. Coming in around $1,400, this system from Magnaflow is a bit more expensive than a lot of other systems available for your F-150. But Magnaflow has stupendous build quality and really what you're paying for is the research and design that went into this system, the excellent fit and function, and I always say that you get what you pay for and it's really true in this case. Now a system like this is still more affordable than some other high-end options out there. So if you're looking for a high-end exhaust that doesn't necessarily break the bank, this is gonna be a great choice. We're looking at an install difficulty of two out of three wrenches, and it's only gonna take you about two hours to get that job done. Now, everything you need for the install is included with the kit, so it really shouldn't be too much trouble for you at all. Next, I'm gonna hand you over to one of the guys in the shop, and they're gonna walk you through that install process step by step. For this install, you will need an impact, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch to three eighths adapter, quarter inch 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter swivel socket, 13, 14, and 15 millimeter sockets, a 14 millimeter wrench, hanger pliers, a soft mallet, penetrating lubricant, and a pry bar, as well as a pole jack or jack and jack stands. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be installing an exhaust on our F-150, but first we're gonna send you to watch a short video on how to uninstall your factory system, and we'll see you when you get back. So first things first, we gotta get rid of our factory cat back, and we're gonna start by lubricating all of the hangers, and then there's two 13 millimeter bolts on this flange here that we're going to undo as well. That will allow us to push the whole exhaust back and drop it in one big piece. If you are working on the grinding, you might have to loosen that clamp right there, or bring out the saw to cut this into a couple pieces, but again, since we're on the lift, we're gonna take it out in one big piece. Welcome back guys. So for this exhaust system, it's going to be reusing the factory resonator 
and flange mid-pipe section. So once you have your exhaust, as we just showed you, off of the car, you can go ahead and just separate the resonated section and reinstall it as it was from factory using your 13 millimeter bolts. And we'll go ahead back up here to start installing our new system. So we'll begin with our first link pipe here that's gonna go into our factory resonated section. And this system only uses the second frame hanger isolator here. So we'll go ahead and get this lined up and into our factory slip joint as well as our isolator. Go ahead and seat that into place. Next, we can go ahead and get our muffler into place and we've got our pole jack here to lend an extra hand. We're gonna grab our three inch clamp here, slide that onto our link pipe and we'll go ahead and get our muffler into place. Slide that on. We'll use our pole jack to get our height kind of where we want it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and snug down our muffler in the inlet clamp just a little bit using our 14 millimeter socket. Remember, I'm not going all the way tight with this. It's still gonna have to have the room to wiggle in case we need to make any adjustments. Then we can move on to our over axle section. Now we can begin installing our dual over axle section. So we're gonna slide our two clamps over our slip joints here. Make sure they don't fall off. We'll get this up into position. Get it lined up with our dual outlet here on our muffler. This may be a little bit of a tight fit. Try to get both of them on. Now we have our slip joints in place. We can go ahead and get our hanger lined up. Now we've got that started, we're gonna go ahead and use a rubber mallet to help us get that into position. And we're just gonna give this some love taps. I'm gonna check on how far in your hanger is to your isolator. Next, we're gonna snug down our two clamps here, again using our 14 millimeter socket. And you do want your clamps to be facing away from each other so that you can access your hardware. And again, just snug for now. We're not gonna fully tighten them down yet. And sometimes you may need to go ahead and put a wrench on the other end of the hardware for the clamp. In this case, we're using our 14 millimeter wrench. Just snug for now. So now we're getting ready to install the tail section of our exhaust and for this particular system it's going to be a lot easier to remove your rear hanger isolator and put it on the tail section and then remount it once we have it in place. So we're going to grab our 10 millimeter swivel socket here on our impact and then we can go ahead and remove our other 10 millimeter bolt and grab onto our isolator. And go ahead and pull that out. So now we can go ahead and install our isolator onto our hanger here. So now we've got our isolator on and we've put our two clamps over our slip joints here. We're gonna go ahead and get our tail section into place. Now we'll go ahead and get our tail section lined up here. Make sure both sides get seated. So now that we have our hanger lined up with our isolator, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our two 10 millimeter bolts here using our 10 millimeter socket on our quarter inch ratchet because it is a tight fit. And once we have that one in, we can go ahead and reinstall our other one. Now we can get our other bolt in for our hanger isolator. few threads in and we'll go ahead and tighten that down with our 10 millimeter socket on our quarter inch ratchet. So 
So now we can go ahead and tighten down our last two clamps. And since we have everything in place now, we're gonna give these a final tighten down and work our way back up to the mid pipe and snug everything into place. And again, we're using our 14 millimeter socket to go ahead and tighten these down. Next, we can give these two a final tighten down. Now we can go ahead and tighten our factory clamp down to our mid pipe, link pipe. And to do that, we'll use our 15 millimeter socket on our impact. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our MagnaFlow Street Series dual exhaust system with polished tips and same side exit for your 15 to the current 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150, excluding the Raptor, Tremor, and 19 and 20 Limited. Thanks for watching, and as always, for everything F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.